In the early years of electrification, electricity was deployed to replace existing technologies, such as, for example, the gas-powered street lamp, at a better cost efficiency. And as a result, electricity was mostly used to do the things that were already being done. The same thing happened in the data era. Uh, we were deploying enterprise technology in order to do the same tasks that we were doing before, just a little bit more cheaply. Before we knew it, we were now using electricity in order to innovate. And that's where the, in, the transformative power of new technology uh, came to bear. The data industry is now innovating with data. And we see with new technologies like Uber that would have been literally impossible without the data technologies that are in place today. What that means is that now we're building most of our economy's ability to generate revenue and to generate profits in enterprise. Uh, based on top of data systems. That transition from systems that cost money to systems that make money is in full swing. Uh, every SaaS deployment is in fact a system that is making money for its developer as opposed to a system that's costing money uh, embedded in an enterprise. Uh, a great way to think about the difference between a system that makes money and a system that costs money is the haircut analogy. If I were to offer you a $25 haircut and a $50 haircut, you're immediately going to be thinking about how you could spend the extra 25 bucks and whether a $50 haircut is actually going to make you enough more beautiful to be worth the extra expense. That's because your hair only costs you money. If I offer you a $25 eye surgery or a $50 eye surgery, you think completely differently. You think, get away from me with your discount eye surgery, you freak. And the reason you think that is because your eyes are your current way that you know how to make money. And the, the value that you have from your eyes has a lot more to do with the outcomes for your eyes than it has to do with the money that you might save. Pythian has always specialized in systems that make money. And as a result, it doesn't mean the cost doesn't matter. It means that you need to protect the revenue stream at a fair cost in order to optimize for the profitability at the end of the bottom line. The uh, consequence is that Pythian is built to maximize outcomes for systems. And yes, we do compete uh, with our competitors based on our price but it means that our primary deliverable to our customers is, is outstanding outcomes for those systems and leveraging their ability to leverage technology to compete with revenue generating systems. My name is Paul Valley. I'm the founder and the CEO of Pythian. If you love your data, we want to be a part of your team.